those comments like oh where is she i only see a floating t-shirt or she's as dark as they come or she's lit and i would cry and it led me to become so insecure hey guys it's your girl fisher Didi, and i'm back with another banger period i just woke up see if my voice sounds a bit and you know and i decided you know what i'm gonna film because the grind don't stop you know what i need as you guys can see what i decided to say is a different kind of video again three weeks ago i did my experience going to an all-girl school and a lot of you guys said you could relate and it helped you they came to me for advice the comments everything it was just so important as you guys can see what i decided to say i'm gonna be doing a story time I need to just bear myself. I don't want to tear up on YouTube, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you may be wondering, Didi, you got bullied. And to be honest, that was me two days ago. I was speaking to Josh, you know, as you do, just talk to your friend. Friend? He was like, you're actually a white girl and a black girl's buddy. I was like, it was a joke, so don't get out of him, it was a joke. And I was like, oh, that reminds me of what the boys used to say to me in year eight. And then he was like, you got bullied. I was like, no. And then I explained, and he was like, that's bullying. The thing that made me think is what Leah said to me. She said to me like, yeah, it is bullying because what we perceive to be bullying is like what we see in the shows where like there's one person that's considered meek and they have no friends. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm going to talk about the colorism situation with all the influencers. I decided, do you know what? Why not share my story of my colorism bullying? Is that a thing? If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications on, oh, like this video, and yeah, let's get into the video. In my colorism video, what it's really like being dark skinned, I touched on it a bit, but because we were all like all three of us, we were talking about our experience. Like, you can't go it out, do you know what I mean? Like, you can't tell the full story. So, I was just on Snapchat. Then, my friend must have popped up to me. She was like, I made this WhatsApp group chat. It's called Schools Everywhere. Oh, it's a variety of schools in the area. I was shy, yeah. Like, I'm still shy, but like, I was shy. So, I was like, Oh, can I message Leah and ask if she could be in it? And I'm pretty sure at first, me and her were skeptical. She's like, Oh my gosh, like, I don't know. But we we obviously decided to be in it obviously and at first you know when you're in group chats you're just scared to talk you're like oh my gosh i don't want no one to judge me like i was the type of person that always wanted validation is that the word you want everyone to like you you just gradually make your appearance visible by like replying to people's messages i was in a group chat for bare long and i would wake up to like 10,000 messages like it was hella active i don't even know how it occurred but all of a sudden the bullying started leah and i we used to live like three minutes away from each other so obviously we went home together basically there's like a shortcut that you can go if you go that way it's like hella long because we would take this bus that just goes through the whole world so i said to leah i like we should try and go this way and we got home probably like half an hour earlier and back then like i loved getting home early it wasn't a thing where oh my gosh let's go that way because it's a boy school over there like we're gonna see all the boys like we didn't even want to see the boys you know what i mean we would cross the road we would like we would do a lot to not see them so guys i'm currently editing and i realized i forgot to mention the reason we knew these boys from the boys school was because of the whatsapp group chat that's why i mentioned i got added to a whatsapp group chat if we didn't get added to the whatsapp group chat we wouldn't have known these people and they wouldn't have said anything to us so yeah we would walk and then we would see the boys they started to like call us a nickname and the nickname they gave us was shadow and snow they would always say it a lot like loud it wasn't like a thing where just like they're whispering to each other like they'll say it so we can hear they're like oh look it's shadow and snow and they'll all be laughing it wasn't just like one person do you know what i mean like it was a whole group of boys the place where we would see them is a chicken shop like the chicken shop is literally next to a bus stop so obviously it's convenient for them every single day to go eat chicken and wait at their bus we would walk past and then they would just be shouting and you're probably thinking like oh why don't you just go the other way but as i said like this way was like a half an hour distance why am i just gonna not go because there's people like i don't know how to explain but yeah so we would walk and they would shout it and we'd walk and they'd shout it to me i just thought leo was like so brave and it didn't affect her obviously you don't know people deal with stuff differently hey guys it's leah i look bun so i'm using a filter i'm gonna give my take and how the stuff that happened and made me feel i'm pretty sure did explain most of it so i'm not going to be going into that but obviously i would just like to start off by saying that in the shape of form i think what happened affected me as much as didi a lot of comments were made about her race she's also more sensitive so obviously we're going to react to stuff differently stuff would happen and we'd both just brush it off we'll laugh about it together but when we went home we were literally like <laughs> 
after like a year or two did we only come together and we were like oh you know when stuff was said though back then it kind of hurt me and both of us like agreed and we were just a bit like um yeah but obviously it made us prosper and become better persons as we are now even though that sounds cringe is true i'm so ugly but these beautiful periods at such an early age what were we like 13 we were like in year eight like it's just like at such an early age you're forced to grow up and you feel uncomfortable in your own skin and your own body and it's just not right because who even taught people to say stuff like that and it's just not acceptable and i think it was even worse for dd because the social awareness of dark skins and how saying stuff about darker skin tones actually affected people like, i think it affected the way more than it did to me um not only were we in a group chat where we would get cussed on a daily even though we stayed in a group chat it also happened in when i would literally just be walking home from school and then we'd just be getting cool stuff not even by the people in the group chat by friends of friends and other people that we didn't know it's just not right in it and one of the things we obviously got called together is shadow and snow back then even back now some people may say that i fit the beauty standards because a lot of people think the beauty standards used to be or still are is the blue eyes blonde hair obviously um because i fit that i didn't feel like i had the right to speak up people in the group chat that were dark skins themselves they were getting bashed and they were laughing it off so obviously if people are being read about her race when they're the same race Dee, Dee will feel not comfortable in any shape or form to speak up when your own race is degrading you do you know what i mean not much stuff was said about my race that much it was mostly just shadow and snow stuff uh, more stuff was made about my appearance so it was just like ah oh, that my eyes are far apart and stuff like that obviously to this day it actually still makes me very wary of it because i can't change how my eyes look do you know what i mean even stuff that i was said like i didn't even notice it before and then someone will say it and i'll be like oh well, yeah that has stayed with me um i don't think the snow part i don't think that stayed with me i feel comfortable in my own skin but the eyes far apart i still get it sometimes from other people so you know i'm emotional if i'm upset i will cry and when i have a shout shadow and snow or lit i heard that one of them even said that i was the same color as a blazer and obviously the blazers are like dark or well, everyone's blazers are different but their blazers were like like probably this black I remember every time I'd be walking home and I'd be sad. I'd say hi, then I'd come upstairs and I would just be crying. I would think, am I this dark? And it led me to become so insecure. In my mirror in my bathroom, it was different to the mirror in my school, like in a dance studio. I would be really like in a dance studio and I would look in the mirror and I would look like darker than I look at home. And I would be like to Leah, oh, this mirror looks different. Like, do you? Do you think you look the same? She would be saying like, oh, her skin looks different in that. And I would always think like, oh, am I this dark or am I that dark? And when I was deeper than like, don't ever think, am I too dark? Am I this, am I that? It doesn't matter, do you know what I mean? But obviously back then, because I would get all these stuff like, shadow lit same color as a blazer it was also called an oreo because they said i sounded posh and obviously oreo like black on the outside white inside so they was trying to say like oh i'm black like in appearance way but i act white do you know what i mean and I found out the other day from Leah that they also used to say stuff about my teeth. My gut was probably like this thick. Leah said to me that they said a 50p coin could fit there and something about a vending machine. When she told me I laughed because it just made me laugh. But obviously when I am racing now, I wouldn't be laughing. In like year eight time, when I would like talk, I'd be like, hey guys. I would hide it and it, looking back at it, it's just like, you've come a long way, do you know what I mean? I just like, thank God for helping me overcome it, do you know what I mean? Because I've been served, like, a lot of us have gone through it. I would say it's not until like, this year where I've become more confident. I love being dark skin. I wouldn't change it for the world. And I love helping you guys. Stop it, baby. I like, love helping you guys who like, go through the same thing, do you know what I mean? In the group chats, they would always say stuff as well. Obviously, they're way other educated. Like, I don't think they do it effectively obviously because I know well I don't know but I'm pretty sure if they knew what colour vision was and they knew how it affects people like deep it I'm in your eight how old are you in your eight you're like 12 so just deep it being so young you're in your eight and this is why like I'm the way I am do you know what I mean some people may think like why do you talk about it so much and it's the thing where back then I didn't know what colour vision was so now that I have a platform that I do and I know that I have many dark skin supporters. I know what it is. I'm gonna educate people. Why am I just gonna sit here while colorism kind of still goes on and not use my platform to spread positivity and to give people confidence, you know what I mean? But yeah, so that went on for a long time. We would go that way home and they would call our shadow and so I think we like stopped going that way after a while. 
what I never understand is when someone is dark skinned in their group and they allow their friends to call you blip or they even join in, do you know what I mean? Or laughing, like I don't understand how you can find it funny, do you know what I mean? In like year 10, I would get messages from them, the same people who bashed me about my skin tone. I think I had like probably 1,000 subscribers, but they would message me and be like, you glowed, you know? Do you know what? Lucky I'm a nice person because I would just be like, oh, thanks. I'd be thinking, lol, now you want to come back and tell me that I've glowed or whatever. No, I don't want to hear it. You know when you're confident in yourself, don't care what people think. That's you glowing. Do you know what I mean? And now we're going to move on to year 10. And last year, I wasn't as confident as I am now. I was like getting better, but I was still on the wonky side. So if you were to say that to me, I would probably read it and cry. I was in one of my YouTuber friends' videos and this has nothing to do with him, it was people in the comments, so basically I was being so unproblematic, do you know what, it's like weird because it's so unprovoked, do you know what I mean, like you could just be in the video and you could be smiling or answering a question and be so nice and people just come for you, when you give us a break, do you know what I mean, we do nothing and you just want to come for us, unprovoked, literally, I was reading the comments, like you just want to see what people want to say about you because you care so much about people's opinions now, I don't really care like there's days if someone says something to me it could make me feel like a bit sad but my friends remind me listen you need to not care what people think and fair comments about me i read it and i cried <laughs> i'll put them on the screen i was comments like oh where's she i only see a floating t-shirt or she's as dark as they come or she's blip and at the time i had some profile picture i'll try to find it and put it on the screen or oh, in her profile picture she looks light skin but in this video she looks like a dark board or something like that oh my god guys i said i was not gonna cry Ooh. Ooh. one section you can say your views on the video but why do you need to bash someone's appearance that can make someone feel so insecure after that, i was like no like i'm not going to any public videos after that i was in public videos <laughs> because it's a thing where i would go to Stratford and i would and they would say oh do you want to be in my public video i'd be like no i don't like being in public videos so like you're a youtuber you don't like being videos obviously and they don't know my story i was like no i get anxiety about the comments and that and they're like no it's calm just being it i'm like if i get cussed in the comments whose fault is it yours that was like my two worst experience with colorism i just want to let you guys know if you're going through colorism right now make sure to message me i just want you to know always like i say always gets better and i just want you to know that you're beautiful and i'm gonna put some bible scriptures at the end but yeah that's the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this like this video comment down your opinion subscribe to my channel because we're closing to 12,000 subscribers but yeah love you guys so much